this is amazing what if you can integrate gemini vision pro api into your python application what if you have a user interface like this and able to upload image and get a response back using gemini vision pro api that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started hi everyone i'm really excited to show you about integrating gemini vision pro api into your application i'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this but before that i regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my youtube channel so do subscribe click the like button and stay tuned so the first step towards setting up a vision api is to make sure you have an account with google cloud set up your billing details next you need to enable the api and services i click that click enable api and services there make sure you enable vertex ai api then click enable for me it's already enabled next if you see iam and admin click on that there make sure you grant access to the email address you want to provide provide the email address and assign roles mainly vertex ai administrator ai platform admin are the key things which you require if there are any permission required the application will tell you that permission denied so give permission accordingly and then click the save button next you need to install g cloud cli there's a detailed documentation on how to do this for linux users for mac os user or windows user you can do that accordingly and then install g cloud cli too next to make sure that you have installed g cloud correctly type g cloud hyphen hyphen version that will confirm that g cloud got installed correctly next type g cloud dot init to initiate google cloud in your local computer then it will ask the email address which you just entered before in the previous screen use that to sign in to this terminal this is vital because the code which we are going to create is going to use this credentials to generate the response now going to create a file called vision.py and then open it inside that import base64 this for importing an image then import vertex ai then import the generative model and part then with open we are opening an image and converting that to base64 format this is required as a part of sending your image to the vision api next i am going to use the part function and save the image in the variable next i'm going to define the generative model class with the gemini pro vision name next i'm going to create model dot generate content here i'm going to pass two things one is the image which we've just added and then the prompt read the text in this image then giving configuration and then streaming equals true and finally we are printing out the response just few lines of code first importing base64 and vertex ai and generative model then we are going to add an image this is the image.jpg it's in the same folder as the code so i'm going to open that image encode that image in base64 format pass that image and the prompt when we generate a response from the model and finally we are printing out the results now i'm going to run this code in our terminal python vision.py and click enter now the image is getting encoded into base64 and sent to google and here is the response the best dreams happen when you are awake which we can see from this image the best dreams happen when you are awake so that is correct now we are going to convert this code into a user interface to do that we are going to install gradio once that is installed first we are going to import gradio as gr next we are going to import io this is required for using the image in the gradio application i'm going to remove this part we'll define a function and then buffer equals bytes io then saving the image in the buffer and then getting the values this is the image which we need to convert to base64 format and that encoded image is passed to the variable as we have seen before then the image and text is passed in the generate content and finally we are returning the response i've added everything in this one function now adding the gradient interface in that adding the function two inputs one is the image input and the another one is the text box input the output is again a text and giving a title gemini pro vision api and finally i face dot launch that's it now we can run this code in your terminal python vision dot py and click enter now the url is ready click that url and you'll be presented with a screen like this i'm going to upload an image describe 
what is in this image and then click the submit button here is the response a gray couch in the middle of an empty room the room has white walls and a white ceiling there is a large window on the right side of the room the floor is covered in light wood flooring which you can clearly see that from this image that is amazing now we have created a user interface which can use gemini pro vision api and able to give us the response as simple as that i'm going to create more videos in regards to gemini so stay tuned i hope you like this video do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching